checking on Money Matters. Today is one of the biggest days of the year for Apple. And new information on how to stop being flooded with telemarketing calls from your area code. Yeah, that's the one that always gets me. So Jane King joining us live from the NASDAQ <laughs> this morning with those stories and more in today's Money Matters. Good morning to you on this Monday. A good morning, Bruce and Melanie. All right, so how about this one, Jane? You know, you get the call from the telemarketer. It's 904 area code. So you're like, oh, I must know this person. Nope. It's yeah. all trying to get you. Boy, they're tricky, aren't they? More than half of the spam calls this year have come from what they call a neighbor scam. So that's the tactic in which scammers use your own area code to try to get you to pick up the phone. Now, that's according to analysis from the spam protection company, Haya. True Caller says the more people that pick up those calls, the more lucrative it becomes for the scammers. Now, the FCC, the FTC, they're trying to work on a solution. But boy, I get these all the time and numerous ones a day. It's very annoying. Yeah, and that do not call yeah. list has become mm -hmm. virtually useless, yeah. but that's a whole oh, story. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, SpaceX postponed plans to send space, <laughs> space tourists to the moon. Uh, that's right. They had said they were going to do it this year, uh, which seemed really ambitious. So, but now that's been postponed. The Wall Street Journal says it will not launch the tourists as previously announced this year. So it's the latest sign that technical and production challenges are disrupting founder Elon Musk's plans for human exploration of the solar system. You know, as, um, Apple's Worldwide Development Conference is today. Usually a lot of big announcements, but it doesn't seem like anything too hot and heavy is going to be announced today. No, it's going to be, I think, a lot of software updates and things like that. Uh, the CEO, Tim Cook, will announce uh, the roadmap for the future of the company as well. Now expect to peak, it says, some software updates. Uh, that's expected to include some health updates. Also, Apple will probably focus a lot on quality. It had a year in which the company's software captured headlines for the wrong reasons. So those big announcements on the iPhone and all that, and those come uh, later in the fall. And no doubt that Fortnite's become the hottest game going, partly because of its appeal yes. to an unlikely cohort. <laughs> Women are loving Fortnite. So many of its 45 million players participate on mobile devices, and among them, about half are women. That's according to the research firm Aptopia. So compare that to like rival games like Call of Duty, also Grand Theft Auto. It's more like one in three are female, or even fewer than that. All right, Jane, thanks. You have a good day. Okay, thanks. You too.